Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for another video today. As you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you what I got my kids for Christmas. Let's get going. Okay, so guys, this is actually a really special video for me. Um, it was almost exactly one year ago when I posted my first YouTube video and it was a what I got my kids for Christmas for the year 2020. So I thought it only fitting that this be the next video that I release. So I'm so excited to share this all with you guys. Um, if you're new here, my name is Brittany and I am a mama of three children. I have a 10 year old boy, a seven year old girl and an almost two year old girl. Um, so that's the gifts that I'm going to be showing you guys this for this year. Um, I want to preface this by saying that, you know, I get my family these things everybody does Christmas differently. We are very careful to spend equally on each child and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And we keep Santa gifts very small. So you actually will not see any Santa gifts in this haul. Um, that will come in a different video, maybe in a what's in my kids stocking video. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go in order of age. So we're going to go ahead and start with my 10 year old boy first. Okay, so the biggest gift of his I actually don't have with me, but I'm going to insert a picture of it on the side of the screen here. So he has been wanting a basketball goal and I found one on a really good deal. I think it was about, it was just under $200 from Walmart on Black Friday. So we got him this one. It is one that is adjustable up to 10 feet, which is great because he is a big, tall boy and he needs to learn to shoot higher and it also has wheels which is really great because our HOA does not allow basketball goals to remain outside so it had to be one that we were able to roll back into the garage every couple of days at least so we don't get in trouble with the HOA so um that was his like big main gift and he is at the age now where he understands that he might have less gifts if he's getting something that's really expensive. So that was his, a good portion of his Christmas money was that basketball goal. He also has one other gift that we just have not received yet. It was a, it's a box of cards that we ordered for him. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that he really likes cards. I think the ones that we're missing are um, basketball cards. So those will be, I'll insert a picture of those here as well. And those were around $40. So the next thing that we got for him is this 2021 Absolute Football Box. It says there are 64 cards in each box. Um, my husband actually ordered these on eBay because, what's going on with my hair? Um, because they're hard to find right now. Trading cards really have been hard to find for the past, like, probably since COVID started, it's been really hard trying to find cards. So we had to order these off eBay and they were about $45. So you see each thing that he's getting is just pricier. The next thing that we got him is this Michael Jordan Funko Pop. He specifically asked us for this. This is one of the things that he sent for us. So this is the um, like Olympics USA basketball edition. This one we also had to order off of eBay and it was around $30. This is something that I picked out for him that I'm really excited about. So he is a huge Steph Curry fan. Um, and so I found for him, I think I found this on Amazon, the Steph Curry official warm-up jacket. And it has the, um, you know, the Under Armour Steph Curry logo there. Um, this was, again, about $50 for this jacket. And I found it on um, Amazon. I am so excited to give this to him. I think he's really going to like it um, and like wear it to school and all that every single day. And then the last physical gift I have for him is this Dude Perfect book. So he loves Dude Perfect, like love, love, loves Dude Perfect. Um, and this is the 101 tricks, tips, and cool stuff for the ultimate Dude Perfect fan. So this was 
$19, $18.79 at Sam's Club or Costco. I think it was Sam's Club. So I picked this up for him. He's going to love this. And then we also got him, he plays NBA 2K21, but I think he's getting 22 for Christmas from um, my mother-in-law. So we actually got him some virtual currency to use on that game to like, you know, buy things or whatever. So he also has $40 worth of virtual currency that is just like in a... Um, it's actually like a downloadable link that Target sent me after I bought it. So that I'll probably, I might just show that in his stocking or I might just wrap it up, like print it out, wrap it up with, with a different gift. But that is all of his gifts. Again, he knows that he's going to get less things if he asks for bigger things. So the basketball goal really took up a good portion of his gifts this year. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to my seven-year-old girl next. Okay, so I have her pile here next to me, but the first thing I'm going to show you is actually, they shift it, like Amazon just shift it in a box. Um, so this is a jewelry box for her. Um, some of you guys know that she recently got her ears pierced and she's just been all about um, like jewelry and stuff. So I wanted her to have a jewelry box that she would be able to use like as she got older. So it has a lifting part here with a mirror. And then there are several drawers on either side actually. And then two little things there. So this is by Bless of Sweet. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon and this was $35. So I know that she is going to be super excited to have that um, and just like put all her jewelry in, which will be a very common theme in her stocking. Definitely will be jewelry. Okay, I'm just gonna start grabbing things off the her pile. So these are her like something to read. Like Bryson's was that Dude Perfect book. So I grabbed her these Princess Five Minute Stories has 12 books. Um, like all different princess stories. This was $20.99 and I picked this one up at Sam's Club. Um, so it's got like one for every princess, Princess and the Frog, Milan, Snow White, Pocahontas, Cinderella. Um, there's one for every single princess. I'm sure she'll enjoy that when she's doing her like 20 minutes of reading that she has to do every night for school. This was her most expensive gift by far. So um, if you watched her birthday vlog, she actually got an American Girl doll for her birthday. And I wanted her to have like a friend for her American Girl doll. So I got her one of the Welly Wishers, which is another American Girl doll. We picked up Kendall, who I just think is so cute with those little pigtail buns. Um, but yeah, so this is the Kendall, Garden, Kendall doll and garden classroom set. So it has like all the different classroom things. There's a desk with this really pretty like... Um, like foam, like beanbag chair type of thing and all kinds of a journal and some crayons. Now she is a lot smaller than a normal American girl doll, obviously, um, but she'll just be her doll's like little sister. So this one was $89 at Costco. I picked that one up and that was literally the last one they had left. But when I had gone a few weeks earlier, they had had several of them and several different like girls and all of that. The next thing I grabbed for her is just this wet brush. Her and Kylie or Finley both use wet brushes. We're always losing them. And then she loves that type of hair tie as well. So this one was $12.98 at Costco. It says it's a limited edition. And I think that the girls will both really enjoy these because Finley has one too, as you will see in a few minutes. So she's been really into playing video games. Bryson, they both, they have a PS4 um, and she's been playing video games. So I wanted to get her some more girl themed video games this year. So I got her, the first one I picked up is the Unicorn Princess. Um, this one was like $20, I think on Amazon. And I think she'll have a lot of fun with this. She loves unicorns and she loves princesses. So I really think she, this is gonna be a hit. And then this one I know she will love. I grabbed her the Fashion Boutique, um, which is one of the My Universe games, which I think there's several. I think this one might be as well. No, but there are several My Universe games, like different ones. But this one was $20 as well. Um, and I picked this one up on Amazon. Like guys, I Amazon like so much stuff this year. 
Okay, the next thing I grabbed for her is this Paint Your Own Unicorn Sweet Shop. I picked this up at Costco. You might have seen one of these in, or seen it in one of my Costco hauls, but Kylie loves, loves crafts. She is my crafter. We literally have a whole art room in our house. Like literally, our spare bedroom is the art room for the kids. So um, I know that she's gonna love this. We do make her paint downstairs, so she'll have to do this one downstairs, but it has like glitter pots and so many different things. So it says, six ceramics, five sweet scents, and 24 paint colors. So I think she's really gonna like that. And this one I believe was $20 at Costco. And they did have um, like a dinosaur one that you could use for boys. Uh, or if your girl wanted dinosaurs, you know. Oh, this is not Kylie's. I don't know why I grabbed that. This is the Simple Trendy Modern Touch um, jewelry designer thing. So I picked this up at Costco. It has, it says that you can make a hundred plus accessories. So this thing literally has, um, the carrying case, 2,900 beads along with like alphabet beads, pearl beads, friendship thread, nylon cording, like scrunchy fabric, so much stuff. So again, this will go in her craft room. She will love this. This was $30 at Costco. And this is probably the thing that I'm the most excited to give her because I just know she's going to love that so, so much. I can't, I feel like there's something else for her that I'm missing. Oh, so I do know for her where you're missing one thing as well. I'll put a picture of it right here. So it is um, a set of princess, Disney princess dresses for her American Girl doll. They were like $40 on Amazon and she is going to love them. So she can make her American Girl doll a princess and Kylie actually has most of the princess dresses like for herself to dress up in. So I know that she'll just make them match. Like that is, I think it's actually supposed to come tomorrow, um, but I needed to film this video. So yeah, she's gonna be super excited about that. So that's one thing that we got her for her American Girl doll. And then the other thing, this was from Amazon as well. So this is a unicorn like set. So it has different, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Um, so it has different things in here like blankets and this is actually the little, um, so this will give you a good idea of what it is. This is, this is like the little um, robe for the American Girl doll. So it has like a, a sleeping bag, a robe, um, eyewear things, a towel, like it's slippers, you know, it's just a big, a cute little unicorn set um, for her American Girl doll, like for bedtime. And she, um, I spent $25 on this. Now the last thing that she's getting is actually from my sister and her husband. They're actually, or he is actually making her a bed for her American Girl doll out of wood and painting it and all of that, like a really nice crib for her American Girl doll, which I am again, so excited for and so excited to give that to her. So that's kind of priceless. It didn't really have a price um, except for the cost of the wood, which isn't much, but I know that she's going to be really excited to have that. I cannot wait to give that to her. Um, she wanted the like really expensive American Girl doll bed. And I was like, yeah, no, not happening. Cause they're like $150 and her uncle is a craftsman and he can make it for her. So that's what we're going to do. So that is all of her presents. And then again, like I said, her stocking is going to be a lot of like jewelry and stuff like that to fill the jewelry box. Okay, let's move on to the final one, which is my almost two year old girl. And I think I found some good stuff for her. So let's go ahead and get started with her. Okay, so she is actually like the rest of it, so I can just kind of grab as I'm going. I also got her one of the five minute stories, but I got her Mickey Mouse because she is obsessed with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Um, so this one has like Minnie Rella, Minnie's Pet Salon, Su Mickey Super Adventure, like a lot of cute things on there. Um, she really likes to read. And so I know that she is going to absolutely love that. Like she is always throwing books at us 24 seven read me this book. So I know that she's really going to like that. And then I also picked her up a wet brush as well, like I mentioned, but I picked her up Minnie Mouse. And again, this one was $12.99 or $12.98, something like that at Costco. So the next thing I got her is actually, I'm going to grab this back here, this stroller. 
Oh, this is heavier than I thought it was going to be with one hand. So this is a double like twin stroller. It has the one in the front and the one in the back. This was like $35 at Costco. She has a stroller right now that is actually broken. And the poor girl is like always whining, trying to fix it. And like, that was one thing that I knew I needed to get her this year. So I picked this up for her at Costco. And again, that was $35. Um, and that, because she was getting a double doll stroller. I felt like I needed to get her a doll. So I ordered her this little Melissa and Doug mind to love doll. This is Jenna off of Amazon. This one was like $15. This was super cheap. Um, a lot of Finley's presents, like I think she has the like greatest number of presents, but they're all really cheap. So, you know, um, again, like the kids are getting to the point where they sort of understand that, but, um, this is one of the dolls that I got her to put in her stroller. And then the other one is this fancy Nancy doll. So Finley loves, loves, loves fancy Nancy. This is, I thought it was more of a, like a real doll versus, um, like a Barbie, but still she's going to love this. So Every single morning, if you ask her what she wants to watch, she says fancy, Na or she says Nancy. Nanny, nanny is what she says. So I wanted her to have some type of fancy Nancy toy for Christmas. And this is the only doll that I could find um, that was like big enough that she wouldn't choke on. Cause I do think fancy Nancy is like an older kids, like four, five, six, seven year old show, but Kylie started watching it and then Finley was obsessed. So I grabbed her that. That is probably the thing that I'm most excited to give her. And then the next couple things, I got her this little, um, like drawing, like etch a sketch with a, with a thing, you know, with a pen from Amazon. Um, she loves to color, but I don't want her coloring, like sitting on the couch in my living room with crayons and markers and stuff like that. So I thought this would be fun to sit, you know, when she's watching TV or watching a cartoon or whatever, or if I'm doing something, I can give her this and she will really like that. So this was $15 um off of Amazon and it has like different shapes and stuff that they can do as well um to put like make stamps which she'll probably lose 100% she'll probably lose those like within a day but the like actual drawing part and it does draw in color which I think is really cool because most of those things only draw in um black and white but that one this one actually draws in color so this one was $15 and then I got her some puzzles because we need to start working on puzzles with her. So these are those big wooden puzzles. This comes with five, pu no, six puzzles and it's a total of 28 pieces, um, which I think will be, I think they do like ladybugs, turtles, bees, you know, all of that sort of thing. So she will really like this as well. And this one was, this is a little more expensive actually. This was $20, which I thought was a pretty good amount for wooden puzzles. Okay, we got a few more things for Finley here. So I saw this on Amazon and just had to have it because again, she loves Minnie Mouse. So this is like a actual remote control car, um, which I think she's gonna love. So it's really easy. It just has like two like go and reverse, which I think is, or turn is what it looks like. Um, I think it'll be really easy for her to use and figure out like, cause she only has two buttons that she has to push. This one was $25 on Amazon. And I think that she is going to love this. Oh, and they actually have different ones. So they have a Mickey Mouse one, a plane, a motorcycle. They have all different ones. So maybe she'll get a matching one for her birthday in March. <laughs> this I grabbed her as like an extra thing. That's actually really, so it's uh, made with 100% recycled plastic and it's green toys. This um, was pricier. I think it was like $20, which I thought was a lot for a dump truck, but I just sort of need a little fill-in toy. She loves to push cars around and I think she'll probably just throw a bunch of stuff in the back of the dump truck and push it all around my house. So she's gonna love this for sure. Um, and they also have different ones like a car carrier, a wagon, a tugboat. So green toys products are made from 100% recycled plastic. This saves energy, reduces greenhouse gas emissions and minimizes our carbon footprint. So that's, that's nice. Love that about that. That was $20. Okay, she has two more things. You might have seen this in a Costco haul as well. This is the wooden dress up dolls. It's pretty big. So it comes with over a hundred, you get six dolls and a hundred different pieces to dress them up with. I'm going to have to obviously monitor her with this 
um, because some of the pieces are pretty small, but I think she's going to love it regardless. So I grabbed that for her. This one was like $20 at Costco. And again, she's going to love it. So her big present is this balance bike. So I picked this up if you can see that at Costco. Um, this one actually lights up. I'm gonna turn around and show you the back where you can see it on the box. This one actually lights up as you like move the wheels. Um, this was $60 at Costco. She, it's by the, it's BMX Glow is the brand. Um, we have a friend that has a balance bike and Finley loves it. It says it's for ages two to five. So she's right in the mark. Um, and I think like, really, she's going to be obsessed with this. She, the one that we, at our friend's house, she never does anything else when we go over there except play on that bike. So that was definitely $60 worth spending. So that is when I got my kids for Christmas. Again, I'm going to do a stocking stuffer video and maybe I'll throw Santa gifts in there. I'm not sure, but that is what we got. We ended up spending about $350 on each kid, um, which again, I know that's a lot. Um, and I know that everybody does things differently. That's just what we feel comfortable doing. Um, and some of that money is actually from my mom. So she gives us a little bit of money. She gives us a hundred dollars per kid and we usually take 50 of it and spend like half of it on a gift. So I will designate a gift that's around $50 for from grandma or whatever. So that is what we got our kids for Christmas this year. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and got some ideas for your children. Um, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys very soon. I also wanna say thank you to everybody that has watched my channel over the past year, subscribed, commented, disliked, liked. I mean, it all means the world to me. I'm so blessed. Um, to have this platform and this space to just be me. And I thank you guys for being a part of that. So until next time, guys, I will see you soon. Um, yeah, I got some good things coming this holiday season. So stay tuned and yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye.